It's a really frosty day this morning. Nice clear skies, so we should be able to get plenty done. The two tanks that we were working on yesterday, all the screws have been driven in making sure everything's pulled up properly all the way around. Sealant will have set nicely on those. So we'll be able to start putting these over the top of these trenches today. And we've got two more of the big tanks ready to put the bottom drains into as well. Recycled, we managed to acquire these tanks, and that means we've got to make a few repairs onto them. We've had to remove a troublesome tank connector and fit a new one. And we've just fitted a blanking cap into it and smoothed down the uh, sealant to make it nice and secure. And Matthew's just finishing that off on the other side. Again, we don't do neat, we just do secure i don't think that'll go far matthew do you no nope. be all right nice job that see matthew's works far neater than mine all four of the bottom drains are on the tanks now i'm gonna glue in a piece of three inch pipe, eight to two mil pipe, and we're gonna come as far as the side where we're gonna put a valve. 110 mil bottom drain. We need to reduce it down to eight to two mil. So the first thing we're gonna do is glue in an eight to two mil reducer. That's get plenty of solvent weld on, so we've got a brush, a better size brush than the one that comes in the pot. Might not be the most economical way to use solvent weld, but we don't want to take any chances with this leaking underneath the tank. So I'm gonna glue that in with the short bit towards the bottom. That's it. Make sure it's all the way home. I think you've got it. <sighs> it's not any further, is it? Then we've got to put a piece of H2 mil in to get to the side out here where we're going to put the valve on. I think shorter, Matthew. Sure. Yeah. Tight. Yeah, yeah do that. That's it. Don't worry. That's it. Lovely. Yeah, that's a good clean cut there. Look at that. All right, start with that other end. We're professionals, you see, so we do quality work. <laughs> I spent more time holding the pipe and not the camera than one to draw. No, you're right. <laughs> Need four uh, arms or three arms. So again, it's just going to put plenty of solvent weld in there. And then some on the pipe. Make sure it's all the way home. It's on in easily. And then on this end, we're going to need a valve. Now the valves are actually three inch. And the pipe's eight to two mil. That means we need a adapting bush. That's this thing. That's going to go on the end of the pipe. That just converts it to three inch. Now, if you really wanted to go to town on this, what you'd do is you'd use a bit of sandpaper on this first, then you could wipe it clean with some um, solvent well pipe cleaner, then you could put plenty of glue on and you'd get exactly the same result as what we're gonna get here. Right, right on the outside, huh? uh, We put in the uh, nice logo to the outside. It's amazing stuff, this solvent well glue, isn't it? How it just sort of melts everything together. Great stuff. It does what it says on the tin. Do have to be a little bit careful doing it like this. That this pipe isn't damp 
Um, you would, if it was damp, you'd have to dry it and you'd have to rub it with a bit of sandpaper and a bit of solvent while cleaning first. Just make sure the valve's facing down. Yes, it is. I think we're good to go. Flip that over and try it in the hole. The next step is for us to start positioning the tanks over the tops of the trenches. So we started filling the vats up, putting a bit of water into them and what we're hoping is that the weight of the water is going to push that drain down flat and then the bottom of the tank is going to be sitting properly on the base. The bottom of this tank is probably the worst of the lot because it's so uneven. The weight of the water should flatten it out. And we've even chanced it on the valve. We stuck the valve on at a slight angle so that when it's all filled up with water, hopefully it'll be pointing in the correct direction. We shall soon see. It's actually uh, more of an oval shape. perfect circle at the moment it's a little bit deformed so we're hoping that when it's filled up with water it's going to get its shape back fingers crossed right come back to i bet we end up having to pump this out and moving it but it's the only way that we can do this i can't see how else we can do it Here. Did it just go then? It just went then, it just popped up. No, not perfect, but nearly. Like me. It certainly doesn't seem to be leaking. That bottom, it isn't even down. You can see it bulged right really? up. Yeah. I think you need to put a lot of water in this one, Matthew. Up in it around. I can't yeah. pump it back into the Gone, went again then up there yeah. first two tanks are in and checked absolutely no leaks at all underneath which is really comforting to see I had no doubts though slide valves are on got as far as here ready to start connecting up the third tank weight of the water completely flattened out that bottom Valve standing the right way round, more than pleased. We've got four of these 2,500 litre tanks. We're going to fit bottom drains into them, we're going to fit overflow skimmers into them, and we're going to run them into a DIY multi-stage gravity fed filter. But you're going to have to wait until next week to see that because I've got to get home and start editing this video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you see, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up, post a question or just say aye in the comments. It's bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.